From a career of serving agriculture for some six decades, our Orion Samuelson has received dozens of honors, but this one, presented in downtown Chicago the other day, was a little bit different. Our urban field reporter Kristen Decker was there, and she talked with Orion about it. You know him as the face of agriculture here on This Week in Agribusiness. He's also the voice of agriculture. Orion Samuelson, agribusiness reporter at WGN Radio for over 50 years. And now he's part of the inaugural WGN Radio Walk of Fame. Today they initiated what will become an annual event, the WGN Radio Walk of Fame. And into the uh, uh, concrete here on Pioneer Court on the Magnificent Mile, Michigan Avenue in downtown Chicago. They have inlaid into the uh, court uh, plaques of 10 people and one of those plaques is mine and uh, this is the reason I wrote the book You Can't Dream Big Enough because I could never ever dream that just a block away is a street sign with my name on it and now in the sidewalk here at uh, the Tribune Tower is a plaque with my name on it and it will be there forever. It's, uh, I'm deeply honored by what happened today. How has agribusiness reporting and your role changed throughout the years? Well, the role has changed. Uh, part of it changed rather early in my career here at WGN. I arrived here in 1960. And besides reporting information that farmers and ranchers could use to make planting decisions and marketing decisions, I quickly learned that there was a sizable audience of city people in Chicago and suburbs who really didn't know much about agriculture. They were two, three, four, five generations removed from the farm. And so I realized my role would be a journalist, would be to provide information for farmers and ranchers, but at the same time to speak for farmers and ranchers, because to me, they are the most important minority in the country, 2% of our population that feeds us, and they needed a voice. And so I was able, hopefully, to build some bridges of understanding between this uh, Chicagoland audience and rural America in the Midwest. We got to witness the induction ceremony today. What was that like sitting on the stage with a lot of your friends? <laughs> well, indeed, they were all my friends, uh, some of them much closer friends because of the difference in shifts that we worked at WGN. But I can say that I knew every person that was inducted into the uh, Walk of Fame. And and looking out over this audience today, first of all, are the listeners, because without them, I wouldn't be here. But secondly, uh, former program directors, former station managers, there were uh, producers that I've worked with over the years. There was Kristen Decker, who I met as an intern at WGN, who produced the show today. And I've always had a good relationship with engineers because without them, I'm nothing. They really control my destiny and also producers. And so it was nice to see all of them. There were a lot of people in the audience today that I have not seen for a long time and had the opportunity to at least say hello and shake hands again. I have to ask, is retirement at all in your future? I hope not. Well, Gloria says I can't pronounce it, so I won't. I'm just having too much fun doing what I'm doing, and I can't imagine, I don't golf, and I don't garden. I did all my farming as a kid when I was growing up in Wisconsin. And uh, to me, I've watched too many people retire and suddenly have no reason for being. And I, I want to keep my mind active, and I want to keep learning, and as long as it doesn't take physical labor, uh, just talking, I'm going to keep on as long as they'll let me. How important is it to keep the voice of agriculture in and on a station like WGN, a city station? Well, I think we're the last one to do it, really. Uh, WHO in Des Moines still does some activity, but for a city the size of Chicago, there is no other radio station that devotes this much time. And people today, as you well know from doing on-the-street interviews, are much more conscious and aware of their food and they want to know how it's produced, they want to know where it comes from, and so we're able to do that and that's why to me uh, talking agriculture or agribusiness from the heart of a major city is important because as I've said for 55 years of the 90 years this station's been on the air, if you eat you're involved in agriculture. 
WGN Radio is a powerhouse in the Midwest, so many of you will be familiar with some of the other inductees that include Bob Collins, Spike O'Dell, Kathy and Judy, and Jack Brickhouse. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Kristen Decker. There it is, in the sidewalk in Chicago. Now that's one you can't put on the shelf, sir, but what a magnificent honor. It truly was very touching and one honor that, uh, that I'll cherish forever.